Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're doing a quick little guide over four different types of airlocks that you can use for your ships and stations. Uh, the building, the main building itself, is blown out a bit, so just to make it easier to actually see inside while we're going over it. So, of course, you don't actually need to have these large rooms for your airlocks. It's just really to give you a good idea, or a good view, rather, of the interior and some room to move around and show you it. So, starting here at the beginning, what we have is a basic, what I'd call a manual vent airlock. As you can see, there are panels set up with simple controls. We go over here, and we turn depressurization on. And you'll wait for that to go on a single tile, basically from door to door. With the one vent, you should basically only have to wait a couple of seconds for that. And then, of course, you open up the exterior door, and you head inside. Close that up. Once it's closed, you just turn your vent back on. There we go. Alright, and that'll refill the room and it fills it up fairly quickly. Of course, uh, this, if you did an airlock, you just do one single row of straight from one door to the other. Now, next one here is just a manual airlock. There is no venting in here. Uh, this is pretty much the size of most of your airlocks going to be of any design. This is why I put the interior glass inside the actual building to give you an idea of the size that you'll really be using for most airlocks. And uh, pretty much all you have to do is just open a door, close it, and then open the next door. And it's very effective, very low cost as well. Alright, next here is a very standard timer block airlock. Uh, we have one timer block set up for it. And basically what we do is we just start the timer. It is set up controls here. Alright, so it's set up with no delay, and then we have a closed door option, or sorry, open slash closed door here. And then next is the pressurization on or off. So basically this button works for either way you're going. What happens is, let's see, we have this door open, and we're coming in from outside. Depressurization is on because we've already exited through here. And uh, what we do is we just press the button, it's going to close those doors, and it's going to start venting again. And of course, if you do the opposite, it'll close the interior door and start depressurization. So it's another manual venting, basically. Just uh, groups of doors on with the actual manual venting using a timer block. Alright, so this next one here is a bit complex and honestly somewhat unnecessarily just because you don't actually need two vents for it. What we have here is one vent is set up solely to depressurize and the other one is sent up to just vent into the room. And all these timer blocks do is they close the doors and then they start depressurization and they will open up the interior door based on it. I actually forgot to put a panel in here. Alright, so basically come up here to our timer block start it. So that depressurization vent is on. It's depressurizing. The other timer counts down and the doors open up. Of course that other room was pressurized. That's why it vented out. But uh, basically you get the idea here. So we do it in reverse. Turns depressurization off. Doors close and then the vent starts again. So what that does basically, it allows you to uh, depressurize the room before opening it. And this is your in a month, you're going to want to use a variation thereof of this for larger rooms like this size here, or of course bigger. Um, you'll want to set the timer based on the amount of time it takes you to depressurize the room. So you're going to need to basically just turn the vent on to depressurization and just count time for it, of course. Now, you don't need to use a second vent for it. I just like to do it just because it just amuses me that way. You could actually use a single one, and what you would do with that, instead of setting it up to have a vent on off for those two vents, because you only have one in that case, you would just set it up to toggle depressurization on and off. And that you can basically do with just the uh, two timer blocks as well. So that pretty much covers what you can do for venting. Gives you an idea of several different types of vents that you can use if you've had any trouble with it. Uh, the timer blocks are really the key thing for setting up a proper vent outside of those very narrow two-door vents. For any time you need to vent like a large hangar room that you have sealed up. And of course you don't need to use regular doors, you can use the blast doors, the airtight hangar doors. Those will work fine. 
And, of course, I hope that was helpful for you and inspirational in other ways. And, of course, as always, have a good day.